Our timeline journey begins in a jungle, where codename operative Naked Snake infiltrates a military complex to retrieve a stolen nuke. He ends up being betrayed by his former mentor, and also ends up having to defeat a flying hovercraft thing called the Shago Hod. Talk about a rough day at the office, eh? Naked Snake completes his mission, and gets awarded the new codename of Big Boss, but angry he had to kill his mentor, Big Boss steps back from his unit Foxhound, deciding to set up the Sands Militaires Frontiers, or Soldiers Without Borders, in Central America. Big Boss, with his mercenary cronies, goes global, a gun for hire to the highest bidder. His name and exploits become legend. Skip a long period of time and a young operative codenamed Solid Snake gets called upon a mission by Foxhound to infiltrate a military base named Outer Heaven in the Eastern Pacific. Along the way, he rescues his buddy, Grey Fox, and fights random bosses with names like Dirty Duck, Z Fire Trooper with a German accent, and some random uppity guy called Machine Gun Kid. Eventually, Snake is informed of the existence of a nuclear-equipped walking battle tank and assumes the position of saviour of the world by destroying it like some kind of supercharged MacGyver. After this, Big Boss comes out of nowhere and does the cliched it was I all along speech with dramatic flair. Flames all around them, they end up having a big old fashioned fist fight, with the end result being Solid Snake getting the hell out of Dodge. Big Boss, being a charismatic sort, recovers from his wounds and manages to get most of the Outer Heaven people out of there before it gets carpet bombed to the ground. Skip to 1999 and Big Boss hasn't learnt his lesson, having rebuilt another Outer Heaven base this time in Zanzibar land. Solid Snake gets called in again, only this time fighting his buddy Grey Fox, who has teamed up with Big Boss, piloting the new improved Metal Gear D. A showdown ensues, with the end result being Solid Snake chasing around Grey Fox in a minefield, because who has time these days to make sure their limbs are safe? And then again chasing Big Boss with a can of flaming deodorant, once again like a supercharged MacGyver. The nightmare over, Solid Snake disappears, deciding to leave Foxhound and retire comfortably with his pay to Alaska. But fate plays its hand once more, and he is recruited for a mission to Shadow Moses Island under false pretenses yet again the gullible sod. Once in the field, he is told after much infiltration and such wow that he's got to destroy a new metal gear this time stolen by the leader of the now renegade unit, Sons of Big Boss, under control of Liquid Snake. Liquid informs Solid that they are in fact twins of a genetic experiment that tried to perfect the cloning of the greatest soldier who ever lived, you guessed it, Big Boss himself. Liquid Snake shouts, Snake! Snake! Nyah! And my favourite, Snake, I'll crush you into dust. A hell of a lot while piloting Metal Gear X. And then the Air Force comes into the equation, ready to bomb the ever-living shit out of the facility. Cue obligatory fist fight on top of the nuclear-equipped death machine, and they both only have a few minutes to make it out alive in the greatest example of family dodgems ever exhibited on a video game console. Liquid literally catches a cold and dies, then in comes the credits, readying the stage for the events of Big Shell. So, basically there's a white-haired emo called Raiden, that Patriot storyline, I want to suck on your blood bit, then the Colonel has early onset dementia, then the standard showdown with robotic tanks, and Solid Snake, who apparently is some kind of fish, then a samurai sword duel, because why the fuck not? Cue Guns of the Patriots, where old man Snake from across the yard confiscates the Patriot skateboard. But seriously, if you want to learn more about the Patriots, read Wiki, because I'll be damned if I'm going to explain how one guy can control all the soldiers in the world at once, like some sort of modern-day psychopathic Geppetto. So, tune in next time for more Max Facts, where we shall examine something normal, like pens, or sharks, or the latest television show, I don't know, but tune in next time anyway, and thank you for listening. Oh yeah, uh, also subscribe, don't forget to subscribe, it's always helpful, so if you haven't done that yet, I do urge you to do that, because there will be more videos coming up, I do one every week usually, 
So look out for those. And you. Bye. Yeah, yeah. let's, let's get, get this party started. started.